Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Another beautiful morning here in North Naples at Del Norwigans Pass State Park. Seventy five degrees, A little breeze blowing, partly cloudy skies. All in all, another glorious morning here in Southwest Florida. Thanks for tuning in. probably see some rain again this afternoon we are falling into that typical summer rain pattern here in Florida afternoon showers expecting today's highs to get up to oh, around 90 North. Roy's tree there on the right. Area four. Area Roy. I got to remember that. Area Roy. And the flies are buzzing around again. Boy, a little bit calmer than it was yesterday afternoon when I came out. Yesterday around, oh, just before four, there was a water spout out in the water there by Benita Beach. So I shot out here to see if I could see it, but it was gone by the time I made it out to the park here, out to the beach. But there's videos of it online. You can find them on Facebook. Pretty interesting sights to behold those water spouts. Basically, it's a funnel cloud, a tornado out in the water. Not uncommon in the summertime here in Florida, especially South Florida. Something just came up. I don't know if it was a manatee or a dolphin. Keep my eyes peeled here. Straight out in front of me. I didn't catch which way it was going. Could have been a big fish too flying out of the water, but it left me. It came up out of the water. Where oh where might it be going? Hmm, it's not leaving a trail that I can follow out there, darn it. Water looks great, by the way. No signs of red tide. All right, 
what the heck was it and where did it go? I don't think it was a ray. Well, whatever it was, it's staying underwater. So it might have been a manatee. get lucky and see something here this morning hopefully there's gonna be some new sea turtle nests heck it's been a while now since we've seen any new nests It's gorgeous. The internet still says 85 degrees for the water temperature in Wiggins Pass. I think it's be warming up. rain out there. Good morning. Some rain down to the south and southwest. It's a beautiful morning right now. It was a beautiful morning yesterday, too. Yesterday morning, we saw that big school of sheep's head. That was kind of neat. That was down here in area two. That was up around the north end of area two. Just never know what you're gonna come across swimming in the water here. One year we just had hundreds and hundreds of little nurse sharks swimming right along the edge of the beach, migrating. I've only seen that one time in the five years that I've been coming out here in the mornings. I've only seen that once. That was really neat. So how is everyone doing this morning? Have a wonderful Saturday here at the beach. Please keep all those folks over in Surfside in your prayers. The people whose lives have been turned upside down by that building collapse. The families. First responders, 
Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers as their lives are turned upside down. And it's very stressful on the first responders as well. Disasters like that. Anybody here needing prayers, feel free to post your prayer requests in the comments. Let our beach family know what might be troubling you so they can add you to their prayer list. Awesome group of friends here. Our beach family. Yeah, it looks like somebody just took their finger and went and opened up a hole in the clouds there. <laughs> the finger of God just put a little slit in the clouds. Speaking of God, if you're looking for something to watch online later, you can tune in to my friend Pastor Tim's sermon at 10 a.m. on Facebook. You can find him on at Fairway Bible Church, Fairway Bible Church on Facebook. You can hear his message. He's starting a new little series today. And quiet out here so far. It got busy out here yesterday, then the rains came and chased a lot of folks away. The old skybox over there on the left under the tree. The empty skybox. I don't think Gary's ever going to come back home. I think it's, he has deserted us. I just think those clouds are so beautiful in the morning. The early morning blues. like the wind's coming out of the south now. The wind is, feels like it changed direction. I don't walk by any flags here to see for sure.
Oh, Jackie, those oysters looked delicious that you shared on Facebook yesterday. Gosh, I love oysters. Not the best thing in the world to eat when you have gout, though. I haven't had a gout attack in quite a long time, but not supposed to have any kind of shellfish. I love shellfish. <laughs> I love my oysters and clams and shrimp and crab. Not a big lobster fan. I don't know. I think lobster's overrated, but I'll eat it now and then. If somebody wants to give it to me. <laughs> My favorite is some nice, big, fat, giant king crab legs. Oh, those are my favorite. Maybe a little dab of butter. I don't like drowning my crab in butter. I want to taste the crab meat. So maybe just a little butter. Boy, those oysters look delicious. They look scrumptious. Speaking of scrumptious, our friend Vinny. Vinny, the cookie man and pie man. You guys remember Gary's friend Vinny. He's got some awesome pies he's making now. He's got a red, white, and blue. I think it's an apple pie, which is really cool. It looks like an American flag on the top. The way he layered the dough on top, the crust. It's a very cool looking pie for the 4th of July. And you still got time to order one, I believe. I think it's Vinny's Scrumptious Pies and Treats. <sighs> Sorry, Vinny. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it is. You see one of our rangers up here. So, hopefully we got a new sea turtle nest. Finally. We we're holding on 29 there for several days. Tide's going out, by the way, slowly. We're hours away from low tide here. Thank you for those stars, by the way. I appreciate that. several ways you can contribute here if you like what you see if you'd like to make a donation a contribution i do rely on your financial support to make ends meet you can send stars to my videos you can become a regular monthly supporter of southwest florida television which is me it's just the name of really my facebook page here now Or if you'd like to send a tip, those are always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account or the details for my Venmo account, which is awesome Venmo. If you'd like to send a little tip, Venmo is neat because you don't have to pay any fees with Venmo. It's a division of PayPal, but no fees. So if you don't have a Venmo account, get yourself one. great way to send money to friends and family send some money to the grandkids all righty 
freaking people have to blast their music so they can hear it when they go out in the water. All right. There are two rangers on their hands and knees. Looks like Ranger Steve. Steve's good, he usually finds them right away. Let's hope there's a nest there. Let's hope there's one further down the beach. Oh, it's James. They got a tough one. A tough one, tough one. Got a tough one, huh? Man. Boy. Uh. <laughs> we'll see when we come back there if there's a cage go down to the south here see if there's any more action down here let's hope that's a good a good crawl They found them. They found the eggs. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good deal. Good deal. So, let's... I don't want to ruin the suspense here. Let's see if there's any down to the south. We know we got a new nest there. Let's see if there's any more down here. That's good news. Finally, after three days of nothing, three nights of no activity, So, 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 did you see those two pictures I shared earlier this morning? Right around 7 a.m. 
It'll be right before this post, just under this post, this live feed. Two photos of Roy and Audrey from back in 2005. Roy and Audrey standing out in the water holding hands. Then another shot of Roy and Audrey out on the back porch with Roy and all of his vitamins in front of him. <laughs> all of his vitamin bottles. Good old Roy. Him and his 25,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. <laughs> he had his special little theory for that one, figuring that out. Well, he had his own theory for everything in life, Roy did. Not just his vitamins. To each their own, right? To each their own. Yeah, the sun went behind the clouds now. Wasn't supposed to do that for a couple hours. We'll see what happens this evening. See what the weather does if I come back out later this afternoon or early evening. We'll see what happens. Salute to Captain Roy, Mike. Sunday morning salute. Yeah, Kathy sent me those two pictures yesterday. She's going through photos. She shared that with me. I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Sharing them with our beach family. Oh, here's a little false crawl. Oh boy, she went up on way up into the dunes on this one too. The tracks over on the right, those are the tracks coming out of the water. The ones on the left are her return tracks to the water. She went way up here. Man, this would have been a great, great, great crawl. See where she, see how she came up here. She came up to the edge of the dune, then she went all the way up here. She came up on top of the dunes, right up in here. She was going to attempt to nest right up in here. That would have been an awesome, awesome spot for a nest right there. Just didn't happen. Maybe that's her up the beach. That was a really good crawl. That took a lot of energy to get up that dune. A lot of energy. She got the right idea. She has the right idea. So here we are, just about out of the park. Are there any new nests up at the north end up there? 
Got to be more than one here today. Let's see, somebody sent another hundred stars. Thank you. I appreciate that. and calm out there this morning. Sun's trying to peek out up here. Peek out from behind the clouds. Morning, Sherry. Happy Sunday, if you're just tuning in. Happy Sunday, everyone. still don't see any new nests here on Vanderbilt. Like I said yesterday, I was hoping to see a new nest up at this end of the Vanderbilt Beach. And that would give me a good indication of how many nests are down there. Because they start, every morning they start all the way down by Clam Pass and work their way up Vanderbilt Beach. And that's the order they number the nests as the way they find them in the morning. So if there's a new one up here in the morning that's going to tell us exactly how many are on Vanderbilt Beach at that time. And they got a lot. They got a lot of crawls already on Vanderbilt Beach. A lot of nests, a lot of successful crawls. the sun peeking out all right water feels awesome Feels awesome, looks awesome.
shallow here. Just offshore now of Area 1. Great look back at our beach at Del Nor Wiggins. I'm parallel to the ranger station up by the front gate right now. It's just over behind those trees where you pay your admission to the park. Our little ball of sun. Vanderbilt Beach down to the south. And the beautiful waters of the Gulf of Mexico out to the west. And if you squint your eyes and look really, really hard right now, look really closely, there's, there's Jackie over there in Texas. You can see Jackie watching us in Texas. See her across the Gulf there? <laughs> Wave, Jackie. We're looking at you. Wave. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for October. Got several friends coming to visit in October. Not that I'm in any hurry here. I don't want life to just speed on by. But I am excited about seeing my friends. saw Kevin earlier this morning when I get out of my car emptying the trash cans in the parking lot ready for a busy day at the park I haven't seen a lot of trash on the beach this morning that's a good sign that's a good sign like I said earlier, the rain chased a lot of folks away yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Usually when that happens, the beach, they just leave it a disaster. They make a run for their cars and leave all the trash on the beach. There's that false crawl. That was a heck of a crawl. All the way up, she went up on top of the dunes there, but 
No nest, unfortunately, but that was an excellent crawl. I think that's our sheriff's department. The copper chopper. Well, people starting to arrive, starting to arrive. They kind of start spreading their way down the beach here. This is the boardwalk. The first boardwalk up in area one's just up here. The south end of parking lot one's just right up here. So people come out there and start working their way down the beach. It's usually quiet down here at the south end of the park. If you want to be away from people, this is a good place to come. There'll be walkers out by the water, but not many folks up on the beach.
let's go check on that new nest. It's not real high up on the beach, unfortunately. Could have been a little higher. Good morning. It would be nice if it was higher up. But it's a new nest nonetheless. This is, I believe this is gonna be nest number 30. And it's up at the north end of area one. It's kind of interesting, the nests are showing up in little groups. Like now there's a little group of three nests right here. Three nests. If you look close, you can see all three of them here. One in the front, that's our new one. And two back up by the dunes. Those are in a good spot. The one up front here, that's a bit iffy. Wish it was back a little further. But this is gonna be number 30. Nest number 30. And the egg chamber is right down there in the middle. See that little circle there? That's where the egg chamber is. That's where they found the eggs. Right down there. So 30 nests now. Cool. Maybe some more. Maybe more as we get further up the beach. Keeping my fingers crossed. The more the merrier. quiet up here. Not too many folks. A lot of people peel off right into the first parking lot when they come in, so if you get here early, you, know, you probably want to go up to parking lot two, three, four, five. This is area two here. Next weekend, it's not gonna look like this. <laughs> Next weekend, it's gonna be chaos. Don't even come to the beach. <laughs> if you don't like crowds and probably lots of loud music, don't even bother going. Just a different crowd of people on holiday weekends, I don't know. This is where we saw that big school of sheep's head yesterday, it was right out here in the water. I was just walking along and just walked up on them. Them and some snook, some snook. Little school of snook.
freaking jackasses. Right here is where I was when this snook showed up. Or shook, snook, sheep head. Sheep's head. There's two different fish. There's a sheep head, California sheep head, and then the sheep's head, like we have here in Florida. Oh, I just saw something darting by. What we have here, the striped fish that you'll see if you're ever here along the beach you see a school of fish they look like they got zebra stripes on them those are the sheep's head you can catch some pretty big ones they're tasty there's some of them right there's a school of them right out here going by there's a they're moving fast they're going down to the south I can't get close to them darn it a big school of them though It's kind of neat how they just are right in this same spot. Stand here for a minute and see if any more come by. A couple weeks ago, man, it was unbelievable. I just stood there and they just stayed right around me. A little bait fish swimming by. This is almost the exact spot where I was yesterday when I saw him. Water is awesome. There is a huge, huge snook up here in front of me. It's just a big black shadow just swimming away from me. It's huge. Ah, just can't see him in the ripples. He's gigantic. Just staying ahead of me. Right up in here. Oh, there he is. Can you see him? He just turned sideways. Got a glimpse of him when he turns sideways. He's going up close to shore. I'm right behind him. Right up on top of him now. See him down there? And behind him, he doesn't sense me. It's a big one. See him down there? He doesn't know I'm right on his tail now. That is cool. Look at that. I know you see him. I can see him now on the camera. I need a net and a smoker. He's going to see me now. Now I'm on the bad side. He's going to see my shadow. He's going to take off. He's going right into my shadow. Wow, that was cool. That was fun. Big snook. 
totally unaware that I was right behind it. We got a lot of those out here, but just getting up close to them and following them is kind of a challenge. There's a, some of them right down here, another little school of them going by, some smaller ones. Wish a dolphin would come swimming by. Oh man, there's more of them. Wait, this looks like maybe some sheep's head up here. Nope, it's a big school of, school of, is it sheep's head or snow? Sheep's head, it's sheep's head. See them down here in front of me? Some of those sheep's head. Oh wow, they're all around. Could only get ahead of them. That'd be the the ultimate. Let them swim right up to me. You can see those dark spots in the water. Yeah, they're going up the beach. Let's see if I can get ahead of them. And now they're here, they're coming around behind me. Hope you can see him down there. So many awesome, fascinating things here in the water. Just hanging around. It's a huge school of them. It's just hard to see with the reflections. So awesome. So, so awesome. They're just meandering around here, back and forth. I mean, it's a giant school of them. I just can't get immersed in them. They won't let me do it. I'm gonna try and stand still here for a second. See if they'll come over to me. Sorry, hang tight. Yeah, they're going out. They're pretty much staying in the same area, but. I just can't get in the middle of them for some reason. Here we go, maybe. Well, there's a big one in the back. There we go. Now you can see their stripes. Now they're coming up to me. Now they're going around me. <laughs> so
sweet. That is just so cool. So cool. Come on, it's gotta be worth a couple stars. Well, here they are here. Now they're moving up the beach. <laughs> they're right in front of me, going up the beach. So cool. So, so cool. Right around the, the boardwalk at the north end of Area 2 is where they were yesterday and again today. Very neat. Just like yesterday, we saw a snook, then we saw the sheep's head. Following that snook was cool. That's the first time I ever actually was able to do that. Snook must have been on a mission looking for breakfast. Here they are. They're right behind me again. Look out, they're heading that away. I don't know how many there are. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Oh no, that's snook. That's a huge school of snook right there. That's a big school of snook. That's not sheep's head, that's a big school of snook. I'm not gonna be able to get close to them. That's a big school of snook there. That look really close. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. I love it. I love my mornings here at the beach. You see so many cool things. Well, I got to start up a new live feed. So stick around. I'll be back with part two here. Beautiful morning here in North Naples. Thanks for those stars. If, if you like what you see, if you'd like to send a little tip, tips are always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account and my Venmo account info, Venmo, which is really cool. You can find that in the description of this post if you like what you see, if you appreciate what I do. Tips are always welcomed and appreciated. All right, stick around. I'll be back. If I don't see you later, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them to join us in the mornings. Remember our mission, bringing awesome people just like you together in the mornings, sometimes the afternoons and evenings, one beach walk at a time. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.